Hi there everyone. My name is Mayur Gohil. Today I will be helping you with division effect by T in Laplace transform. Let us see the statement. The statement says that if Laplace of f of t is equal to phi of s, then Laplace of f of t divided by t is equal to integral s to infinity phi of m dm. Okay. So, I am not entering into the detailed proof of this. I will give you the hint regarding it. You start with LHS, use the definition of Laplace for f of t divided by t. Solve it for few steps and then you can halt it. Then go to RHS and solve using the definition of Laplace for phi of m. And then you will have to use change of order. And after solving for a few steps, you will get that RHS has become equal to LHS and then you are done with the proof. It's very easy and straightforward. Try it out on your own. I am moving over here with an example for division effect. Find Laplace of e to the power minus 80 minus cosine 80 divided by t and hence evaluate this integral from 0 to infinity dt. Okay. Um, yeah. So, here there is a chain because since it is a hence evaluate kind of problem, we need to first find out this and then go for the evaluation of this integral. Now, uh, by this time I hope you have understood that you have to start with finding Laplace of e to the power minus 80 minus cosine 80 and then take care of division effect. Okay. So, let us consider the function f of t is equal to e to the power minus 80 minus cosine 80. Then we take the Laplace of each of the terms. Okay. 1 upon s plus a minus s upon s square plus a square. That is the Laplace and I am calling it by phi of s. Okay. So, then what it is asking is Laplace of f of t upon t. So, if I take your division, it would be Laplace of f of t upon t meaning Laplace of e to the power minus 80 minus cosine 80 divided by t. That is what it is asking. So, in order to do this, it means I have to, if I am writing this, that means I have to take integral of phi of m dm. That means what? When I take this division over here, I am immediately supposed to take care of the division effect. That is, I have to write down on right hand side the integral s to infinity phi m dm. That means phi of m meaning I have to replace here in these two terms, s is to be replaced by m. So, I am replacing it by 1 upon m plus a minus m upon m square plus a square. Okay, m and s both are dummy variables, doesn't matter. So, at the end, what I can do now, uh, not, yeah, what I can do here is I can integrate both of the terms. On integration, what do I obtain is, I obtain logarithm of m plus a minus half times logarithm of m square plus a square. Okay. Okay. Having obtained this, I can use the rules of logarithm. This half can go in the power of m square plus a square and then it would turn into a root sign and then this minus would ask me to divide the function m plus a by m square plus a square, right? So, I can get this term that is logarithm of m plus a divided by square root of m square plus a square. That is what I would get if I use rules of logarithm and the limits would remain in uh, s to infinity. Okay. Now, here comes a problem. If I substitute infinity immediately here, uh, for variable m, what I would get log of infinity plus a divided by square root of infinity square plus a square. And what it is, uh, the rules say, 
us that infinity plus a is infinity, infinity square is again infinity, plus some quantity uh, a square, a non-negative quantity right now over here would be again infinity. So, infinity upon infinity is not defined as well as logarithm of infinity upon infinity is not defined. So, what I would get basically a not defined quantity, but I have to solve it further then how can I approach. Then what I can do here is I can pull m common from numerator and m square common from the denominator. Okay. So, when I take m square common, due to the square root sign, it would give me m outside here and I have already taken m common over here. So, it would give me m over there in numerator also, which will cancel with the m that is taken common from the denominator. Let us see. So, and I would obtain this as a format. That would be my answer after taking m common from numerator and denominator. Okay, so as m tends to infinity, a upon m tends to 0. So, what I would get when I substitute infinity as the answer, uh, infinity for m would be log 1. Okay, I would obtain log 1. And then, when I substitute s, I would obtain s plus a divided by square root of s square plus a square under log. Okay. This step is quite important because you tend to miss out and you don't understand uh, how do you get 1. Okay. That is how you have to take common because infinity is coming into picture you cannot have log of infinity as 1. You have to simplify it and get it. So, it is, you have to show this simplification every time and then you can overcome the difficulty. Okay. So, log 1 is 0. So, I get that. And minus of log of this quantity would be log of reciprocal of this so, I would finally get log of square root of s square plus a square divided by s plus a. I am done by with finding of Laplace of this function. And okay, we are halfway through. Let us go for the next part regarding evaluation. We had to evaluate this integral. First, now you consider this portion again that is Laplace of this entire Laplace of this function is equal to log of this quantity. Okay. So, let us see. Okay. On here, you use the definition of Laplace transform. Laplace of f of t is nothing but integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus st and whatever function is there inside your bracket. So, my function over here is e to the power minus at minus cosine at divided by t. Okay, I am done with it. I have used the definition here and I keep this as it is. Okay, and I call it as star. This step was obtained by definition of Laplace transform. Next, observe our question that was asked regarding evaluation. This can be written as integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus 40 times e to the power minus t cosine uh, minus cosine t divided by t. Compare this RHS with the LHS of the this step star. Okay. If you compare you can see that s is nothing but 4 and a is nothing but t. Compare it. All terms are same. Only s and a are different. So, in next step what you can do is put s equals to 4 and a is equal to 1 in star, then you obtain this, okay. So, simplify it further and you obtain log of root 17 divided by 5, that is the answer for the evaluation of that particular integral and hence you are done, okay. 
So whenever you are going for evaluation of integral, you can do it in this manner or I have I have tried to synchronize the procedure over here. So in such type of problems, we find Laplace transforms and uh, find the Laplace transforms and then we use the definition of Laplace transforms in LHS and then compare it with the original question and then do the appropriate substitution for s and get the desired answer. That is what we tried to do over here. Okay. Now one important note I would like to give you here is um, if here I am using log of x to the base e means ln of x that means natural logarithm of x for in this entire problem I have not mentioned the base of logarithm if the base is not mentioned you consider it as base e okay so that is what I am using over here log of here my base is e in throughout my problem and that's it for today. Thank you.